Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. I'm back, Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said your whole life is about to change. I have so much in store for you. God has so much in store for your future. God is getting ready to bless you unstoppable. God is getting ready to bless you and your family. God is getting ready to open doors that no man can shut. The Bible verse I want to read to you is Ephesians 3 and 20, and it reads, I pray that Christ Jesus and the church will forever bring praise to God. His power at work in us can do for more than we dare ask or imagine. Amen. I want you to know that God is getting ready to do more in your life. I know some of you have doubted God. I know you like, Lord, when my time coming, your time is now. God is getting ready to change things in your life, things that you never had before. God is getting ready to give you keys. God is getting ready to give you a new home. God is getting ready to do things, and it's getting ready to happen fast. I'm talking to people that was poor. I'm talking to people that is in middle class. I'm talking to people that don't have anything. And I want you to know that God is stepping into you. God is stepping into your body. And he's going to show you what you need to do and how you need to get there. You know, some of you are like, Lord, I don't know why I'm lazy. I don't know why I'm weak. I don't know why I can't get things done. This is somebody confirmation. You've been asking God, I don't know why I'm lazy. And I'm going to tell you, the devil is attacking you because he don't want you to prosper. The devil don't want you to get far. And I want you to know, after today, you will make it and God will have you. You got to understand, when there's a calling on your life, God is in control. It doesn't matter what the devil is doing. The devil, he going to always try to distract you. He going to always try to tell you you're not good enough. He going to always try to tell you, you might as well just... Let it go. You might as well just, you know, give it to God and allow him to have his way. But let me tell you this. God going to work it out for your good. I don't care what Satan talking about. You pick up your Bible and you go to Isaiah. And you read Isaiah. Some of you need to read the whole chapter of Isaiah. And I'm just being honest with you. You need to read your Bible. Read your Bible. And see what some of these people went through in the Bible. And see how some of them got blessed and how some of them got cursed. Because they didn't. Some people listened. Some people didn't did listen to God. And God had to let them go. When you betray God and you do things for, for him, you know, when you betray God, you got to deal with consequences. If you obey God and do things for him, he will bless you. So what I'm saying to you is God will bless you. He's going to do so much in store for you. I just want to say continue to be encouraged. Stay focused. Allow God to have his way in your life and know that you will have that car, that house. You will have that child. You will have more in your future. All you have to do is be obedient, walk in obedience, and stay focused. Be determined to do God's will. Doesn't matter how tired, how weak you are. Push yourself every day to pray. Read your Bible. Stay focused. Be determined to make things happen. Be determined to see yourself winning. See yourself not giving up. See yourself going far, and you will. Don't give up. Pray about all things. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.